walk us through a little bit of what is wolf and no, I what? can hike you through. I came in here in the fall of 1992 and I heard about this freshman wilderness orientation program and I was real excited about it. And it was just thrown into my lap. I really had no idea what to expect. All I knew was that I had about 40 sophomores who were going to come back early on campus and I had to put together about 15 trips or so. I was doing the best I can and really I think the sophomore leaders all they wanted to do was come back early and uh, choose the best bed in their room and hopefully they could survive two nights in the woods. I really believe you can take 10 incoming students and two sophomore leaders throw them in a closet for about 24 hours or 48 hours and they'd come out smiling and laughing and they have the, and they have the best time of their lives. I think it's that confluence of new vital energy and excitement in some place, new and different, and just the closeness of a group that just brings everyone together. There's a wonderful, wonderful chemistry that happens on Wolf. It's a great way to introduce you to the, just the geographical location, the Purple Valley, and all the beautiful natural resources. Nice. There's no like, <laughs> no screens, none of the shackles of the 21st century. Uh, <laughs> no none of the great. shackles. No, no social media, well it's straight up human experiences. I think Wolf is really social, but I think it's also a time where you can take some moments for yourself, which is hard to do in a college dorm environment. So you can really just think about who you want to be. We're going to have a full week of training with highly selected student leaders who have just completed their first year of college exams and papers. The only thing they need to focus their powers of concentration on are skills that they will be learning while they participate on a mini wolf trip, except this time they mostly know each other. We've been using this training model since 1997. I think it works great and we haven't lost anybody yet. Student leaders really enjoy it and they are certainly much better prepared to lead trips in the fall. Oh, I feel so much better prepared to be a wolf leader. I know how to tie knots. I know how to use a stove. Um, I know how to assume lightning position. All sorts of things to keep my wolfie safe. <laughs> oh yeah, compass. I learned how to read a compass. Transformative week. I learned a lot of things on this trip. Um, I purified water for the first time. I cooked breakfast for the first time, oatmeal. I'd say just on basic skills, I got I got them down. I can finally tie my knots and all that stuff, so that's been great. Um, yeah, I just feel so much better prepared, especially with the thunder. Um, yeah, it's been great. Hurricanes, uh, rain, sun, bugs, all these environmental factors that could really make for a miserable trip end up being nothing because of the energy and, and uh, really the vitality of the leaders. You were picked to be people who orient these kids. And Will, Michael, Scott have trusted you, have instilled responsibility in you guys. Just be open to everybody on this trip. You guys are all beasts. You guys are all part of this group. And there's a really important reason why each of you are here. And it's not the same between any two people. So be open to each other. Talk to people you haven't talked to at all. Um, you guys are weird and wonderful. And <laughs> I want to know all of you. And take that, try to take that attitude towards each other. Alright, let's bring it in and let's cheer. And, um, and then we'll do math and head out, okay? B1 on 69. 67! 67! 67! B1! Wolf has grown, obviously, from the 20 trips back in 19, uh, 1992 to what it is today. Now we're, we're, we vary between 37 and 38 trips. We take 330 students out of a class of 540 uh, into the woods and up mountains and on rivers and uh, on, 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 climbing, you know, on climbing routes. And it's just an amazing program to be a part of. The student, uh, the student directors, the staff, all these volunteers that come together to really lend a hand to, to make this such a magical week. We survived! Yeah. 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 Thunderstorms and all! Wolf is really a great opportunity to form close, intimate bonds in your first few formative days here at Williams. And it's really great to have um, the support of a wolf group to fall back on all throughout the year. And it's crazy. Wolf groups even have reunions senior year. 
Uh, Wolf is also a great opportunity for a lot of people to get outside of their comfort zone. A lot of people that go on Wolf have never been on any sort of backpacking trip before, haven't done a lot of outdoorsy things, uh, and it's a great way to do that for the first time uh, in a really fun environment. Um, and it's a great way to explore the uh, natural scenery that surrounds Williams. And we are so excited for Wolf 2013. We've been waiting for this day since November when we started planning. We had leader recruitment, we had spring training, we had them figure out the leaders, figure out their codes. We now are in fall training. Freshmen arrive in a few days. We are just so excited for Wolf 2013. We're so excited for the freshmen to come because it's all about them and it's all about having fun. We're going to have a fun-filled full week of hard work and training. Okay, let me try that. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Uh, no, no, my shirt fell in the sink. Wolf uh, gives you a great opportunity to explore the natural surroundings of Williams um, and see the scenic beauty. <laughs> There's no reason why this would be in the video. Take a shower? Yeah. Are you excited to take a shower? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>